so you guys enjoyed my last PSN PS3 top 10 video so much we're back with a part 2 with a lot more PS3 gems that you really should check out in at number 10 is Nights Into Dreams the Sega Saturn classic there's many versions of this game but it does play great on the PlayStation 3 so here's the more modern mode that's playable and it's really fantastic, it's really graphically great, it's got a fantastic soundtrack and really really addictive gameplay too. So have a lot of fun playing this game. But also what's really awesome is it does include in this package the classic version here from the Sega Saturn. Although it's somewhat shrunk down, it kind of takes away a little bit from the experience but it's still really cool to have in the package as two games in one but it is this more modern retake which I really love and I think is really awesome. In at number 9 is Okami HD originally a PS2 game which was then ported over to the Wii which was really neat because of the Wii motion controls for drawing some of the in-game actions. So this game got a physical release in Japan for the PlayStation 3 but in other territories we are stuck with the PSN as a way to obtain the HD version here of Akami. Now it did have a PS4 physical release so you may wish to get it that way but like here with the paintbrush if you wanted, wanted to get a chance to try those motion movement controls it does work really nicely with the PlayStation Move which is just how I used to enjoy the game back on the Wii. In at number 8 is Sonic 4 Episode 1 and Episode 2. So the games are slightly different. I've never been a massive fan of the more modern day Sonic and to be honest I think this is really inferior to the previous Sega Mega Drive and Genesis classics. This was originally going to be a phone exclusive game but it did kind of go to console and it's quite widely available but if you want this on your PS3 you should grab it now. This first episode 1 kind of stuck to a Sonic 1 kind of vibe there with the bonus level going around the maze but it all plays a little bit slow for my liking. Here episode 2 I think this is a little bit better, it's a little bit more refined, it feels slightly faster to me and it's really it's really cool I think this is my favorite of the two and it's got this Sonic 2 classic half pipe style level which is what I really liked from the original games in at number seven is hydrophobia prophecy now this game wasn't exclusive to the PS3 it did have other releases on Xbox or via Windows but it is a neat game. I really enjoyed playing this through, although it is very short. It's only £1.19. So for £1, you can get this game onto your PS3 to play. And check out this game with the really cool action and water physics. And it's, it's a really good, enjoyable experience. And I'd recommend to just pick this up for £1.19 if you wanted to check this out and have it on your PS3 while you've still got the chance to snag this game. In at number 6 is Bomberman Ultra. Bomberman in HD on the PS3, what more could you want from a game? Now it was PSN exclusive, so I'd recommend to grab this game now if it's one that you wanted to check out for your PS3. It's got all these great multiplayer maps, which is just what you want from Bomberman, although it doesn't feature a campaign mode, which is something that I really liked about the retro Bomberman games. Having said that, these multiplayer maps are pretty cool, like this one here, where you can get in the middle and grab all those items to cause absolute chaos, which is kind of something that I really enjoyed playing in local co-op with friends back in the good old retro gaming days. This does have online support, but it's something I've never tried. I don't know if it still works or if it was any good to find players that way to play, but this will work really well for couch co-op play. I'd recommend to pick this up. In at number 5 is Gaia Seed. Now before we get into this one guys, I need to start off with just letting you know this seems to have been pulled from the UK PSN store already. I don't know what is going on, it looks like Sony are pulling games already way in advance of when the PSN is meant to be ending and winding up. So that is a worrying topic which I'm going to cover in another video. But for other regions, 
this game should still be available to download and it is a great side scroll bullet hellish shooter which was a japanese physical playstation one game which is now actually very very expensive to pick up so if you like the look of this game and you want it on your ps3 I'd recommend adding this to your library while you can. You can take on some of these tough bosses and utilize some of the game's fantastic power-ups to finish the job just like I did on this one. In at number four is Konami's classic cult horror, Silent Hill for the PlayStation 1. Back where Silent Hill started, back to these retro PlayStation 1 roots is this real fog covered classic which i have to say doesn't hold up as well obviously as the playstation 2 titles but this is back where silent hill began with that slightly grained effect which i think adds to the horror vibe with these shaky camera angles with the tank controls really does add to that horror experience so it's one thing that i do really like about this game if you wanted to pick this up i'd recommend getting this downloaded now to your playstation 3 library while you've got the chance to grab it because the physical over the last few years i've seen go up in price and it's probably now you're looking at sort of like an ebay battle to get your hands on this or you might end up paying as much as sort of 60 to 80 pounds for a very good condition copy. So for me, I'm alright with the digital version and I'm glad to get this on my PS3. In at number 3 is Castlevania Symphony of the Night. A game I've always admired the art style and graphics of. It looks really great and does actually hold up quite well. Now the problem with this game is the PS1 physical is very expensive, in excess of £200 on eBay from what I have seen. So it's great to be able to grab this to your PS3 to be able to preserve and have the game on your PS3 if you are a PlayStation guy. So I mean there's other means of accessing this game. But if you do want it for the PlayStation, it's good to grab this now to preserve it to be able to play in future when the physical will become even more out of reach. In at number two is Tokyo Jungle, a game which I didn't initially actually pick up but was always aware of. And ever since I've downloaded this to my PS3, I've become very, very hooked on this style of unique gameplay. So we're talking animals loose and going wild in the jungles of Tokyo, so literally in the streets. The way this game plays is just very different. You get to play as a number of different species and have to either play stealth or go hunting to level up. And then at the end of the life cycle, you actually have to breed to pass on your stats to the next generation. I really like it. I like the way that the game plays here for hunting. It really kind of literally is like being a cat or dog RPG. Now it had physicals in Japan, but it was then available in the PSN for PS3 and Vita. I'd recommend grabbing this game, I think it's about £10 at the moment. But it, it took me by surprise how much I enjoyed playing this game. If you like the look of it, I'd recommend checking it out. The in at number one is the Resident Evil Chronicles games, or also known as Biohazard Chronicles HD in Japan where it got a physical collection release but here guys in other regions and territories we're stuck with the PSN download as the only way to pick this game up if you want the HD version saved to your PS3 console or like me you might want to get the Wii physicals as well as if you can play that nicely through your Wii U or through component cables with the Wii you're going to get a good picture of that onto your HD TV. Now what's really good about this is it plays with the PS3 Move as well and makes it a really cool shooter. A little bit I guess you could say like House of the Dead but like in my last video with my actual top 10 recommendations, House of the Dead 4 was great to play with the controller because you have the strafing machine gun fire whereas here accuracy is really prominent. So playing with a controller is quite a hard time for getting the accurate critical weakness shots and for picking up some of the collectibles. But here the Umbrella Chronicles game, it's a little bit of a chore getting into it, but you eventually end up here in a mansion with some of the real classic Resident Evil gameplay. If you're a fan of the originals, you're gonna absolutely love this. Or actually, if you haven't played them either, this is a really good way to experience 
some of the key parts of the story and just have it retold in a completely different way. So I recommend picking this game up. This has got some really cool and hard boss fights in it as well. But there's two games to download. You download it in two parts. Either this one here is the Umbrella Chronicles for Resident Evil 0, 1 and 3. Or Dark Side Chronicles here may be more your cup of tea. Which is retelling a darker side of Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica. Now this was the later release game. So the visuals are potentially a little bit sharper. But it seems to go with a more quirky, fast paced, moving, shaky camera. Which can be a little bit tough if you suffer with some of the motion sickness a little bit like me. But it does add some real drama to the game. And it plays really fantastically too. Now with this version, this gets here to the classic Resident Evil gameplay with Claire and Leon very quickly. So the pacing here in Dark Side Chronicles is more you play one chapter of one segment and then you kind of move through the memories to a completely another different chapter. Whereas the first game kind of takes you through chronologically and it can take a while to get to the gameplay parts that you actually want to play. Now the soundtrack music in this is really nostalgic, it's been done really really well. I just absolutely love this guys, it's one of my top picks. If you want to grab this for your PS3 I'd recommend doing it now while you've still got a chance or again you can pick it up on the Wii I think either's fine although this is in HD does it really add much to the game potentially not uh, even on the, the Wii that the graphics are having that little extra grainy edge it works because it still adds to the horror element a little bit like Silent Hill well the liquors are awesome in this game just like a lot of the other creatures and tyrants are but check this out you won't regret it I hope you guys like that video. It's crazy just how many great PS3 classics that there really are to choose from. And it is super hard to fit that into a top 10. So if you guys enjoyed this top 10 gems, go and check out the part one video because there's my first top 10 games that I first selected for this series. And this is part two you've just watched. So if you enjoyed it, go and check out that video. If you're new to the channel guys, please hit that subscribe button, please hit that thumbs up. So what are your thoughts on this video guys? Let me know down in the comments. What did you think about the content of this video? Let me know what you've got to say.